What's up everyone, Darkblade here bringing you the next in my series of Mass Effect 3 character guides. Today we are going to be taking a look at the Drell Vanguard, a fast, high impact damage dealing class, but has a side effect of being a little bit fragile but if played with caution, can be a very good class. Now, as always, I spec my characters for gold and silver mode, mainly aiming for gold mode now. The way I spec my Drell Vanguard is as follows. I always max out Biotic Charge to the point where I can have Barrier. Maxing out this with any Vanguard I feel is essential, as being able to replenish your Barrier is really useful. I go for weapon damage over power damage as I use my weapon more, and I've gone for a bigger impact when I do hit with my biotic charge. I put a few points into pull but don't max it out as it's only good against unshielded and unarmoured enemies but it sets up the biotic explosions for the Drell Vanguard. I max out cluster grenades to the specifications I have here because I feel that these are just better than pull. As for fitness and Drell Assassin, these are down to personal preference, but I feel you should max out your health and shields as the Drell are quite a fragile race. This is due to the fact that they have quite low barriers and shields, but high health. But health doesn't regenerate until the end of a round unless you use a medigel. Well, shields do regenerate. <laughs> Anytime. As for weapons, I go for a light pistol. You could go for a light shotgun maybe. Having the 200% recharge timer is a nice additional bonus to have with this character as being able to recharge your barrier with the biotic charge is very handy indeed. Anyway, the abilities that the Drill Vanguard has, the first, biotic charge, all vanguards come with this unique ability, this high powered impact charge that knocks people off their feet as well as detonating various combos. This is a great skill to have and like I said if you max it out to the point where you get the barrier talent then you can replenish your barriers with a simple charge. This is great for getting you out of a tight situation where you think you might go down. Instead of going down risk the charge and try to get your barriers back up. Biotic charge can also be used to stagger enemies, knocking them off guard and giving you an opening to attack. Now, the Drell Vanguard might not be as strong as the Human Vanguard in terms of combos, as the Human Vanguard has the charge, the Nova combo, but the Drell Vanguard does come with something that the Human Vanguard does not, and that is the fact that it can create biotic explosions a lot easier. Thanks to the Drell Vanguard's ability to pull unarmoured or unshielded enemies. If the target doesn't get too high off the ground after you've hit them with pull, you can use biotic charge on them and create a biotic explosion. This biotic explosion can also be set up by pull followed by a cluster grenade as well. Though doing it this way is a little bit more tricky as in open areas the grenades have a tendency to miss. So the biotic charge is a safer way to activate these biotic explosions. Another downside for using the grenades to activate these biotic explosions is that you can run out of them. Unless you're fighting near an ammo crate, then you always have to be aware of your actual supply of grenades, while as biotic charge is always readily available to use. Now the move pull itself does a little bit of damage when it hits a target. It unfortunately cannot lift off the ground armoured opponents or opponents that have shields on, which is a shame because this is a great setup move and it's a great crowd control move as well. It puts people out of action completely that are hit and affected by pull. A good tactic with pull that affects the Cerberus Guardians is that it can be used to drag away the Guardian's shield, completely leaving them exposed. <laughs> If you really wanted to put more points into pull, maybe take some out of cluster grenades, then I would go for the increased duration and the more combo damage. As setting up the biotic explosions are the key element of the pull move, and increasing this will increase the damage that the combos do a lot. But like me, I spec more into cluster grenades, as I think these are a great source of damage and don't rely on biotic combos to do a lot of impact damage. <laughs> I mean, look here. Yeah, not bad, huh, for a cluster grenade. 
Now for the Drill Vanguard as well, the cluster grenade offers a safer way to activate your biotic explosions. Rather than getting into the heat of combat, you can do it from a bit of a distance. Although it takes a little bit of practice to get the aim right with the grenades. Now with all the grenades, the biggest downside is that you are always in short supply of them. <laughs> Even when maxed out to the maximum capacity of grenades, you tend to run out quite quickly. So you have to use them sparingly, unless you're fighting next to an ammo crate, of course. Now the Drell, as a race, are very quick and very nimble. Added to the fact that the Vanguards themselves are really high, fast impact classes, this means that the Drell Vanguard is one of the fastest classes out there in the game. Unfortunately this comes at a price as the Drell Vanguards, well all Drell, are quite fragile like I said at the start of the video. They have a very low barrier which to be honest is a bit of a hindrance to the race. But in a different light a good player or cautious player can use this fact to their advantage telling them when or when not to take cover or when they should use a biotic charge. The Drell themselves possess a nice series of martial arts style melee attacks which don't do that bad damage. Combine that with the fact that their heavy melee, their biotic punch is quite strong as well, makes the race not bad in close combat situations. The Drell also possess a nice cartwheel flip to avoid damage. This is a great way to get out of the way quickly. The flip seems to be a bit quicker than the Quarian and Solarian's combat hop and a lot faster than the human's sideways roll. Anyway, let's recap the Drell Vanguard's powers and abilities. Biotic Charge is the bread and butter of every Vanguard, I feel. It's a strong, unique move, charging the enemy, hitting them hard, knocking them down. This is great use to protect a team's flanks. The Biotic Charge can also be used to replenish your shields if spec'd right. Pull is a great move that the Drell Vanguard has to set up biotic combos for biotic explosions. Whilst in itself it may not be the best of moves or strongest of moves, it's a nice useful tool. It can also be used to suspend targets without armour or without shields, giving you a light form of crowd control. And the last power the Drell Vanguard has is cluster grenades, another way of setting off your biotic explosions and other combos. They do great damage in themselves, but come in limited supply, so fight near an ammo box if you like to use these often. If you do enjoy playing against the Drell, the Drell Vanguard is no exception to the other Drells out there. They have high health but low shields, so be cautious when you're using them. They are a fast race and the Drell Vanguard is probably the fastest in the game. Use this to your advantage as well and go from cover to cover. Don't leave yourself in the open too long, especially on the harder difficulties. Now as I mentioned with the Human Vanguard, there is a common courtesy when playing as any Vanguard. Don't go wild knocking your teammates targets out of the way for you to steal the kills and so on and so forth. Play your role well, protect your team's flanks. Use your biotic charge to stagger enemies and interrupt in them, giving your team time to take them down or to reposition. The Drell Vanguard, whilst they come as a little bit of a risk due to low shields and that, are not a bad race and can be used on any difficulty, despite what some people say. Anyway, I've been Dartblade, bringing you my guide to the Drell Vanguard in Mass Effect 3's multiplayer. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and like for more.